Dr. Langer, could chronic fatigue be something else like fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a, uh, is a syndrome where a person has, has, has muscle complaints, uh, particularly point tenderness, all over their body. Mm -hmm. And one of the major components of fibromyalgia is chronic fatigue. So chronic fatigue uh. can be implicated in fibromyalgia, and they very often go together. A lot of people with, with chronic fatigue do have musculoskeletal complaints. Now again, fibromyalgia is a garbage can diagnosis. That's it's, what I thought. It's not that it doesn't exist. I mean, there are a number of different symptoms which, you know, which are included in the fibromyalgia syndrome, but it's, it's, it's like chronic fatigue syndrome. It's sort of cause unknown. If you, if you have point tenderness and you got some swollen glands and you're tired all the time, uh, very often a, a, a handle is put on you that, that, that's mm -hmm. called fibromyalgia. Again, I approach my fibromyalgia patients the same way I approach my chronic fatigue patients. These things have to look into, have to be looked into. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you quite honestly, um, there is a huge correlation that I've seen personally between uh, fibromyalgia and, and an underactive thyroid. A lot of okay. people have to have their, their, their thyroid be brought, brought into a state of balance and, and a lot of their fibromyalgia symptoms get better. In addition, most adults are not getting enough calcium. Uh, so, really? so when you do a nutritional evaluation, well, when you, when you, st when you think about it, really the is dairy products and most adults are either mm -hmm. allergic to dairy or, or they'll, they'll put a little milk into coffee or into tea or, or a little into cereal or have a little yogurt and say, yeah, I get, I get some dairy, I put a little in my, in my cereal in the morning. You, you need well over a quart of milk a day to, to satisfy the adult requirement of, of calcium, which is, which is, uh, is 1,200 milligrams a day of calcium or more. So most adults are calcium depleted, as they are depleted in, in a number of other uh, nutrients, but we'll stick with calcium. So they're calcium depleted, and, 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 and more and more it's coming out in the, in the medical literature that there's a virtual epidemic of vitamin D depletion because a lot of people live in climates where there is not sun many, many months of the year. And even if a person does live in a sunny climate, like they live in Florida, for example, people who are health conscious put sunscreen right. on, which blocks out the vitamin D rays. Mm -hmm. So they're not getting vitamin D. And when you do vitamin D levels, which I do on all my new patients, when I, when I, when I see them, the vitamin Ds are down in the cellar. I mean, the, the range of normal the vitamin D, uh, with, with, without boring people with, with what it right. means, but the, the range of normal for, for the blood test for, vi for 25 hydroxy vitamin D, which is the gold standard for, you know, for, 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 for vitamin D levels, uh, up until about three or four years ago was around 8 to 40. 8 to 40. 8 to 40. Within the last couple of years, it's been changed from 32 to 100. So, oh, so they were wrong on the, on the downside mm -hmm. by o over 400 percent and wrong on the upside by 250 percent. So people who, you know, even doctors who took vitamin D levels four or five mm -hmm. years ago and somebody came out with, say, say, with a 9 or a 10, they say, oh, your vitamin D is fine. Now it's coming out in the literature that if a person has a vitamin D level that's 15 or below, they have like a two or three time statistical probability of developing coronary artery disease than somebody whose vitamin D level is, is, is in the normal range. And vitamin D also has implications for your, for your immune system and it acts as a neurohormone. But, but it, one of its most important uh, characteristics is that it, it is absolutely essential for your body to absorb calcium. So Correct. you could be taking a calcium supplement, but be depleted in, in, in vitamin D, and you're not absorbing it. And I see people who, you know, I, I'm not telling you that everyone is like this, but I mean, it's, it, it's so remarkable to see this. I see people who come in with muscle spasms, with restless legs, mm -hmm. with eyes, their eyelids twitching, et cetera, et cetera. And, and they're told by the doctors they have fibromyalgia, and, and, and I'll take a vitamin D, which will be really low, 
put them on a, on a decent dose of vitamin D, and within 30 days, all their symptoms are gone. And that's, that really is gratifying that's to see. That's remarkable. Yeah, it really is. Well, thank you, Dr. Langer. Pleasure.